Hello everyone and welcome back to the kind of finale to Plants vs. Zombies. Last time we took down two of the last levels of the game. This time, level 510. Let's do it. So keep in mind this is of course one of the catapult, or the, uh, the, the conveyor belt levels. Uh oh, he's here. Better get ready. It's gonna be one heck of a fight. Listen though, I know what his weakness is. You have to hit him in the pancreas. No, that was a different guy. You have to, um, kick him in the... Hmm. <laughs> you have to press up, up, down, down, left, right. Er, wrong game. Wait, I remember, it's... Ooh, they're getting back at you for not liking those bungee zombies. Don't badmouth bungee zombies. They will get you. They will get you. Ah, uh, all right, so, Dr. Zomboss. Also, dear God, this music. Um, I'm not sure if any of you have ever heard of the one-ups. It's kind of a jazz rock uh, video game remix artist people. Like, it's an actual band. I'm not sure if any of you have heard of them, but they actually did a remix of this song, and it sounds so good. I mean, you can, you can probably find it somewhere on YouTube if I were to guess. Um, but I really recommend you listen to the one-ups. They actually also did the entire soundtrack of, um, Super Mario Kart. And that all sounds really good. So, yeah, definitely recommend. Do it. Do it. Like, I don't care when, just as long as you do. Also, I need to watch Freaks and Geeks. Um, one of my friends have been recommending that I watch that, and I kind of, I kind of actually really want to. Also, uh, as you can see, it is nighttime, so we can use the ice rooms. That is so, you can either freeze this guy, or I... Oh, God, that was my only ice room. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I should have kept that. Uh, this guy is going to start spitting out some stuff, and hopefully it's an... Okay, we have another one. Okay, so we have jalapenos. If he spits out the, the ice ball, you want to use a jalapeno on it. If he spits out a fireball, you want to use an ice room on it. And, well, not on it. You can use the ice room anywhere, as you can probably guess. But yeah, you want to make sure you have at least one of each, just in case. Because those things, if they get to you, they will roll over all of your plants, and it won't be fun. And you can't destroy them otherwise. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to take that. Also, you can use ice rooms to freeze them. So, like, now he's stuck. Like, too bad. Also, jalapenos hurt. Oh, they also unfreeze him. I did. Ooh, didn't think that one through too well. Uh, okay, he's doing another ice one. Get rid of it. We'll keep him down here for a little while longer. As you can see, this is actually his health bar. <laughs> Only half of my cursor is on screen right now, if I am correct. Um, but yeah, this is actually his health bar. As this goes all the way to the end, we get closer and closer to the end of beating him up. We do not want to put a watermelon there. Yes, he also has little bungee zombies. I was about to put a watermelon right where he was putting a bungee zombie. That would have not gone well. Also, pogos. No thanks. Oh, that just freezes. I just slows him down. Also, you might want to keep the back row free if you don't want these guys taking you down. I don't foresee that being a problem, though. Ooh, get out. Zomboni. We are seeing everything right now. And it worries me. Also, you want to make sure you at least have one row open, because you don't want to be digging up plants to put jalapenos or anything. As you can see, Ice Shroom gets rid of it real nice, and it also freezes Zomboss, so that's actually getting quite a bit out at once. Also, all of the rows hit Zomboss, no matter where he is, so keep that in mind. I mean, you're doing a lot of damage to this guy. Alright, we'll go ahead and place this cabbage pot he's going to take. Good. Get my plants out, or my pots, or whatever. Don't want to deal with any footballs. We don't have any protection other than this front row of potted plants. Literally pot plants. Alright, and we got full four rows. Come on down, Mr. Zombie. We're gonna freeze him. Just get all that more time to take him out. As you can see, butter does not affect him. Uh, if we did have, like, ice peas, that'd be pretty nice, but of course we don't have them kind of sucks, but whatever. No thank you. Get out. Go ahead and freeze him again. Stay down here a little longer. We're halfway through, and we're making progress like no one's business. Look at that. Look at that. The power of the melon pulse is too strong. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna dig up the... Okay! 
Yes, he also has that. Uh, that will destroy all of the plants in this area. There's not anything you can do about it. You kind of just got to suck it up, and I really would like some pots right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, oof, Jesus. Uh, freeze! None of that! Alright, uh, whoa, I should probably actually start working on this bottom here. He's not putting anything there, though, so I don't know. Ah, stop it. I actually had two melons on that row. I could have done that just fine. Also, I think the newspaper also... Oh, look at that. He died in a second. Also, he stomps. <laughs> so many, so much stuff to explain. I'm not sure if this guy will also lose his newspaper or if he just... Oh, yeah. So you actually kill this guy without using the newspaper if you have catapults. That's another thing to keep in mind. Stay down here for a while. I'm actually... I actually think that if I freeze him four times, he might not get a chance to go back. Ah, uh, no, he's gonna... He's got plenty of time, actually. Oop. No! No, no. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Get out! <laughs> Jeez. That can happen. We didn't even get a chance to freeze him. What? Oh. Oh, that almost made me worried. I just put that melon right down. Whatever, though. That wasn't too bad of a loss. We lost one melon. This guy shouldn't be much of a... Oh, there's no melons on that row. Uh, well. There is now. Uh, you can stop that. Uh, you know what? Everyone freeze. <laughs> stop with your... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we only have one. Ugh, start smashing stuff. Stop it. Okay. Shoot your load. Shoot your load. Ah, it's a good thing I kept that jalapeno, isn't it? Get out of my face. I didn't get the chance to freeze him once more. Okay, you need to stop right now. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use the jalapeno. Yeah, there we go. He's gone. Problem dealt with. We don't have many plants out here right now. Yeah, he does get quite devastating with all of his attacks. But we should be fine. Next time he comes down, I'm gonna go ahead and go all out with my... With my, uh... Ice rooms, that's what they're called. And make sure that he does not... Uh, get back up from this next round Here we go freeze also lawnmowers or roof cleaners rather don't do damage to him I'm pretty sure oh You're moving again. Well, that's too bad. Oh, this might actually be a bad idea Well, we got another ice room. Oh He's almost done Use everything use everything get out go home so close! Freeze! He's done! We, we defeated the Zombas! We are the best. Oh, take it. Ta and we get a trophy. And 3,000! 3, 3,000 coins. Beautiful. I love it. Home lawn security. Good job. We are the best. Okay, you win. No more eating brains for us. We just want to make a music video with you now. Sincerely, the zombies, and roll the credits. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the cursor out of the way for this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you appreciate all that's about to happen. Also, keep in mind that the singer of this song is the same person who composed all of the music for the entire game. Laura Shigehara, there you go.
I like a tricycle. Dirt powder on my head. I'm gonna eat your brain. We are the undead. Beautiful. I mean, ugh. Ugh. Credits don't get much better than that. They really don't. Ugh. And you probably didn't hear it, but I was <laughs> mouthing the entire song from uh, where I was sitting. So yeah, Laura Shigihara, possibly one of the best composers for any game ever. I mean, she did an amazing job on this game. Not to, not to put down anyone else who made this game, all amazing people, amazing programming, art, producing, everything. The Q&A guy, Bob Church, we love you. We love you so much. Also, tech wizardry. That is apparently a position now. And yeah, game of the year. Oh, what, what is the game of the year content? Huh, I might have to check that out. Anyway, adventure complete. More minigames, puzzle, and survival modes have been unlocked. Also, check out the new items in Crazy Dave's shop. So yeah, we now have this beautiful trophy to display to everyone. Once we beat all of the minigames, as you can see, we've unlocked more. Beat all of the minigames, beat all of the puzzles, beat all of survival mode, which if you don't know, um, all these ones on the top are going to have five flags. These on the right here are going to have ten flags. This one goes on forever, and we're going to see how long we can go on that. Um, as you can see, we have a butt ton of stuff to do again. Also, if you start Adventure, I guess I might as well show this off. I'm not going to do anything, but I'm just going to show it off because, you know, it's, it, there's a little spin. Man, those zombies, zombies just keep a coming. This time around, I want to pick some seeds for you. I choose these three. So yeah, for every level, Crazy Dave is going to pick three plants for you. And they may not be good plants. They might be good plants, like the potato mine. They might be completely useless, like the coffee bean. I mean, you don't really need the coffee bean here. But yeah, that's just a new gimmick they added for the second time you go through adventure mode. Also, let's check out the shop. He has added in the walnut first aid. I think I might want to get that. Um, we can also get the magnet shrooms. He's added in the imitator. <laughs> I love that name. You know, like tater and an imitator. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it lets you have two of the same plants. So yeah, you can choose one plant and then choose the imitator. The imitator, and then you can choose another plant that you want to copy. Also, corn cob cannons. The best, like, oh, that's this is the best weapon in the game. The best plant in the game, in my opinion. You can annihilate things with this, and we will definitely show that off. Um, ooh, I think I really want spike rocks. I really want the walnut first aid. I'm going to end up definitely getting everything here. Obviously, there's a lot to buy. Like, look at all. Oh, we're getting the snail because he's our best friend. We're going to. Uh, oh, also, I should probably explain all these. Mushroom garden to keep uh, nighttime nighttime plants in. Uh, aquarium garden to keep water plants in, and the tree of wisdom, which we will be showing off later. So you know what? We have a bit of time left. I don't kind of want to make the finale. We're gonna play the gold. We're going to play Begold. That's what we're going to do. Because I feel like playing some Begold. As you can see, it is kind of a uh, little a little joke on uh, Bejeweled. And it, it actually makes the same sound and everything. Uh, Bejeweled is also made by uh, the same people, PopCap. So that's, ex that's why they can do this without getting sued their pants off. Uh, so yeah, basically the... What do we have to do? 75 matches? Yeah. And all the while, these zombies will be attacking our side and trying to get through. It's not really a problem if you know what you're doing because these these zombies are like hardly any threat at all. I'll tell you that much already. Where's... Where have all, where have all of our uh, matches gone? Okay. You get four, you get that. I'm not sure if that actually counts for two matches. Probably not. But yeah. And eventually you can upgrade all of your plants if you get more things. They are blocking the plants behind them. 
All right, so it just took my roommate about five minutes to get a bag of chips and a towel. Because he, I don't know, I guess he's uh, taking a towel and chips into the bathroom? Who knows? They do, they do things. He sprays himself with Febreze sometimes. Ooh, double match. How do you like it? Upgrade our puff shrooms to fume shrooms. And we're sitting very pretty right now. All right. Oh, jeez. Too many. I can't handle it. What is this? That was like five, four, three. I don't know how many. A lot of combinations right there. Oh, oh, we're doing so well. We are halfway done. More than halfway done more than halfway done now we we're exactly in between not halfway and halfway done right there which is kind of funny anyway have any of you ever played bejeweled i have played bejeweled kind of i haven't played like you know uh like the, the bejeweled that comes in a box like you know like a uh, pagel or something like that i haven't played that kind of bejeweled if uh, you can really call it a kind of Bejeweled. I've played Bejeweled Blitz on Facebook with, like, my mom and stuff because they wanted me to play, and I did, and now none of them play anymore, and it's like, I've invested so much time into getting better than all of you at it, and, like, now you quit. Like, what the heck? Even, Zuma even. Zuma. Actually, Zuma. Another PopCap game that everyone should play. It's super fun. Where are my matches? Switch it up. Yeah, you can also spend 100 sun to switch it up. We don't have anything else to spend it on, so why not? Uh, apparently I'm bad at this. We have no possible moves. <laughs> wow. And uh, we just switched it up. You saw that. I switched it up and we literally had no moves after one match. I guess there were other matches I could make, but how, are, how was I supposed to know that we wouldn't have any moves after that? Ugh, whatever. Uh, where are matches? Jeez, I'm... Apparently I am bad at this, actually. Who know? Who knew? Alright, so we just need... Not even ten more matches to win. Oh! Five! Four! Three! Oh! Okay, huge wave. Two! One! We win! We are the champions, and we get a thousand more little thingies for our collection. Oh, we are set. All right, so now that we play that, you do unlock every mini game. You don't have to be all of them in order, just to give you a little bit of leeway. And we're done. So, see you next time when we start playing some more mini games, maybe some puzzles, maybe a survival. Nah, we'll probably leave survival for the end. Well, we could. You could just go back through everything. Just go random order. I like that idea, actually. We will do that. So, see you all when we do that. Uh, goodbye.